Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Showtime Doctor. My very first sponsored video, I'd like to thank Yozo Games. This is called Rangers of Oblivion, so there's going to be a cinematic trailer here. So I'll let you guys enjoy that. I'll catch you on the flip side with some gameplay as soon as it's done loading here. And there you have it. So I'm going to start with a guest. We'll get into the gameplay here. Real quick before I start, I want to let you guys know in the title info, there's a link to the Facebook fan page as well as the pre-registration link. You can get some rewards there. And as soon as we load in, I'll show you guys the game. Yeah, this marks a little milestone for the channel here. It's my very first sponsored video. So here's all the guy faces. I guess there's a customize. Yeah, so if you guys want to play with this, you guys could totally mess around. Thank you. Hip hop. Hello. <laughs> what? May your hunts be plentiful. Hip hop kinda sounds like me. Interesting, but of course we're going with the latest. So let's see here. Zoom in a little bit, turn them around. Kind of digging that style. Hello. Goodbye. Pleased to meet you. Hello. Goodbye. May your hunts be plentiful. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Kind of digging the charming. Then we'll go with that. Now right here we got like some little background stories that give you different resistances. That's kind of cool. 
or you can get bonus health, and I think, yeah, there's a max stamina. Stamina probably has to do with how many times you can do your, uh, your techniques. Your forefathers were all rangers who protected this land and paid the ultimate price for their mission. Your bloodline is steeped in honor and glory. Now it's your turn to face the behemoths and protect all humankind. Alright, let's see. I got my portrait. We'll go ahead and go with... Let's do green. I like contrast. Preview outfits. Let's check this out. This must be probably one of the armor sets. That's pretty cool. Some nice detail there. What else we got? Oh, those shoulders are nice. I guess those are technically vambrances or pauldrons or whatever. And what is this? <laughs> it's got a little bow. <laughs> Very nice, so. Alright, let's see here. Go with Bethany. No. Okay, let's go with. Marduk. Kaya. <laughs> Marduka. Alright, so let's see what this game has to offer. When you've nothing to do, make sure to head to different taverns. You might overhear some interesting tidbits. Seems like the load time's pretty decent. And now, for a story unlike any other story ever in the history of anything. No help. Hello, Uber. Is this a new service? Riding in comfort? <laughs> I wonder who this guy is. He's like my uncle or something. Oh, I guess not. Okay. <laughs> Behold, I have arrived. The walls of Avalon have protected mankind for centuries. They have protected mankind from becoming the behemoth's pay, prey. But some desire to go out into the vast world to become hunters. Why, hello. Hello there, you're the new recruit, right? I was looking for you. Let me see. Hmm, good family background, check. Great physical health, check. You seem to be in good condition, but you need to complete a few important trials before becoming a ranger. I'm ready. However, first you must go to Instructor Harkin and choose a weapon that suits you. We can't let you face Behemoth barehanded during your trials. But I want to be a monk. <laughs> Let me introduce you. This is Sir Harkin, a senior instructor of the Rangers. If you require battle training with different weapons, he's the one to go to. Attention, recruit! I hear you're about to undergo the Ranger trial. However, as I see it, you're far from prepared. Have you decided what weapon you're going to use? What are my options? My man is apparently a master of many languages here. Alright, well, we got great swords. Lance with a shield, apparently. Longbow, twin blades, staff, armored gauntlets. 
Yeah, armored gauntlets might actually be kind of fun, but for the purposes of this video, let's go for the damn greatsword. Have you chosen a weapon? Can I switch weapon later? I gotta equip this thing. Oh, it's already on. Cute, cute. Let's check our mail real quick. Maybe we got some little rewards. What is this? Storage expansion. My god. A game that gives you storage expansion. How about that? Looks like I got some currency here. Alright, let's go. Skill tutorial. Training dummies in front of you, they prepare for training. Greatsword appears heavy and slow, but it packs a mean punch. Let's try it. Oh, that's cool, you can hit both. Holding down the button opposed to slicing repeatedly will charge a stronger attack. You can move freely while charging up. Okay. Well done, now try using some skills. Let's try Blink Thrust. Skill enables you to break free of a binding attack. Oh, okay. Next skill is Dragon Fang. Dragon Fang has a fairly long reach, enable you to do damage without extending yourself to danger. Oh, not bad. Just when the cameraman thought he was safe. <laughs> I gotta get better with that. The last skill is Judgment. Hold down this skill to charge it up. It's down to second to none. Mm. Do you sense a power that can shake the heavens? <laughs> that is it for skill. Last part of training is to fight this behemoth. So you're not gonna move. Take this behemoth. Behold the power of friendship. My fourth grade teacher. My 15th cousin. And last but not least, my untold, unborn lover. Oh, I guess he's not that great. Okay. <laughs> not bad. That marks the end of training. Oh, and one more thing. Head over there and help the soldiers by adding some firewood. Look out, you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Roll. <laughs> this dude's hazing me. Oh no, you're on fire. One of them. Well done. Almost like a ranger. However, I have to remind you that battling behemoths and training are two completely different things. Never to the munitions merchant to claim your armor. Constant vigilance. Come with me. We'll go to the munitions merchant and the master blacksmith. Whatever you say, Sophia. Instructor Harkin gives you a weapon pack. Open it from your inventory to receive all the different weapons you can change at your leisure. Okay. Well, I don't see it yet. Uh, wait, let's see here. Aha, uh -huh, gotcha. I now have every weapon type.
As the Ranger Guildmaster, I wholeheartedly thank your entire family for their dedication and sacrifice done to the Rangers and all mankind. It is impossible to convey the respect I have for your father and grandfather with mere words of gratitude, but I am honored to have been able to fight alongside heroes like them. I cannot hope to ask for more from your family, however, if you ever feel the rising passion to achieve greatness embedded in your blood to become a hero, the likes of your predecessors, we would be honored to have you join our ranks. May you find the path you are destined for. Alright, let's get going with Sophie. Sophia! Damn, she took off. Oh, that heroic aura. You must be the new ranger recruit. I am Marlon, a humble munitions merchant at your service. Mr. Marlowe is the most famously dishonest trader there is. Make sure you double and triple check the prices and number of items when you trade with him. <laughs> it's funny that voice actress sounds like a girl I know. I need to claim a set of recruit armor. Oh, true, true. The Rangers' real combat trials sure is glorious. But there's no need to fret. We've prepared the best equipment for you. I am absolutely certain that you are an awe-inspiring warrior. Rascal, you won't put your filthy hands on ranger equipment that easily. Why, school? Oh my god, it's Elmer Fudd. Times four. Just kidding. Do you hear that? It's the Symphony of Steel on fire. Oh, I forgot to introduce you. This is the ranger's master blacksmith, Brock. He will forge your equipment. Rascal, you want to reap what you've not sown? I have to see for myself whether you're qualified to wear my equipment. To forge the recruit's armor pieces, you must bring iron, hides, and beast bones. I'll tell you the exact amount in a bit. Listen, go find Miss Cassandra. She'll tell you where to obtain the materials you need. Be careful. I don't want you to lose your life before you've even taken the trial. <laughs> Master Brock is his usual self. Stern on the outside, but soft on the inside. Soft on the inside. Wish you luck. Come back to us after you've obtained enough material. To Cassandra and Victory! Apparently, I have a specialization claim. Oh. You're the new recruit who's about to undergo the trials, right? I've heard about you. I'm Cassandra, the garrison commander. And Sophia's sister. It's my duty to issue various missions into the wilderness. And if you want to enter the wilderness, you need my permission. Is this the wilderness? The wilderness is an enormously vast area in which we humans have no control. It's our long lost homelands. But because beasts, orcs, and everyone's nemesis, only fully equipped warriors are allowed to enter. And I'm responsible for their lives. I need to collect I material. Understand, but I'll go with you. Letting a fresh recruit go into the wilderness alone would almost certainly end in disaster. Be at ease. You'll be fine with me at your side. Let's depart. Let's go. I guess this is the mission briefing screen. Your actions and choices will affect other characters' friendliness towards you. Recruit, this is your first time in the wilderness, right? Be vigilant. It might seem peaceful, but it's full of dangers. Collecting materials is a basic survival skill for rangers. Come with me. Let's mine some iron ore. Let's go. Appears to be a little bit trickier than I anticipated. The wilderness doesn't just contain iron ore, but it also has a variety of plants, honey, and treasure, and more. You have to uncover them yourself in the time to come. 
this iron ore won't be enough. We'll have to find more. Double tap. I hope you will be able to master the art of collecting and mining minerals with these materials. You will be able to forge enhanced equipment which will strengthen you in various ways. Of course, the wilderness is filled with all kinds of creatures, even the fearful behemoths. Look, there's a group of herbivores. They are mild-mannered grass eaters, but they become quite fearsome if you anger them. Yeah, just like people in real life. <laughs> Hunt that group of herbivoxes. You will get various material drop when hunting beasts. Yeah, let's do this. Get that roll. What you want, baby? What you want? What you want? What you want? What you want? Okay, you got me. You got me. You got me, fam. You got me. You still do the herbivore. Ain't got no love for herbivore. Huge charge attack. Mmm. What? Alright, where's your buddy? Whoop. Thanks for the help. Good, it seems you can take care of yourself in the wilderness. That's it for the time, let's head back. But I want to play more. When you've got nothing to do, make sure to head to different taverns. You might overhear something interesting. Wow, that guy was totally looking up my skirt. Did you see that? Yeah. Reported. You came back in one piece. Blessed be the Lord of Light. You know, it's funny, I know someone in real life who looks exactly like this guy. <laughs> Next, ask Master Brock to teach you how to forge. But be wary, he's got a short fuse. You'd shout out to Dylan James. I can hear you loud and clear, you little punk. I'm not deaf. Uh, somehow I got a thousand gold here. Send a gift. You rascal. You brought me back some material. Well done. Next up, I'll show you what the symphony of steel and fire sounds like. Oh, bro, this better be a musical. I'm expecting, like, some men in tights or something. Men. We're manly men. Tight tights. And now Lionel Richie presents. Baby, 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 don't reforge my member, member, member. Go on, have a try. So I got a helmet. It looks like. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. You. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Even some vambrances. I'm having EQ flashbacks now. Skill. No special skills. Plan. What does plan do? Uh, okay, that's where you save equipment sorting sets that you want to. Various equipment or whatever. It looks a bit simple. When you've defeated a couple more behemoths, bring me their limbs and I'll craft you something better. Miss Sophia is bound to be waiting to guide you through the ranger's trial. That, little missy, sure isn't easy to deal with. <laughs> Good luck. That little missy. You came back alive from the trial. Don't let my equipment go to waste. 
past. I trust you'll be able to pass the trial and look forward to our future cooperation. Bye bye. Wild Soul unlocks it. Level five. Yeah, who's your friend? I'm into the dark haired ladies. Huh. You've a long way to go yet. Oh, that's the girl in the cinematic, the caster. Oh great, she's like Yondar. This is Edith, a fellow ranger. She'll assist you in the coming trials. Edith? Who are you calling a little girl? I can beat ten of you with my arms tied behind my back. Sounds like something I'd have to pay some extra for. Don't underestimate her. She's one of the finest rangers we have. She can't take part in stopping the behemoth tide. Let's stop gossiping and do something useful. Recruit. Come and find me by the city gates when you're ready. Oh, Edith is a prideful woman. She won't let you get hurt. Wish you luck. Promise me you'll be careful. Yeah, uh, Edith, let's go do it. What? Oh my god, Edith is fast as hell, you see that? Damn. Got that spirit of the wolf. You sure like to dilly dally. You won't even have a moment to squander against a behemoth. What are the behemoths like? You've never seen a behemoth? Consider yourself lucky then. The behemoths are the bane of Malheim. They've been attacking our lands for centuries. Thanks to them, most of mankind can only cower behind the city walls. Except for the rangers. The rangers hunt the behemoths and extract their powers. We are the vanguard that brave beyond the walls. The ones that will save humanity. <laughs> you need to prove in battle that you're worthy of holding the title of In some attack of ti on Titan vibes. Seek Cassandra and the quest to enter the wilderness. Sharp Cassandra, but I want to go with you. You. Anyway. Ba -na -ba -ba -na -ba. Awakened wild souls possess immense power, but be wary of how much they. I didn't see the rest. According to our information, there's been quite a bit of behemoth activity in the area recently. Let's first deal with the beasts in the area and wait for the behemoth to appear, newbie. Yes, Missa. Fall, oh, you fools. I see ore. Hey, what? What happened? I guess we got a cinematic coming. Let's see if we can find any clues that'll help us track the behemoth. Well then. There's a clue. <laughs> and it's coming this way. Oh, I thought you were like the pro ranger. Oh, never mind. She pulled a matrix dodge. Okay. And I don't know what the hell that is. That must have been a corpse. Marduk, are you alright? This is the behemoth we're looking for. Don't be afraid. Listen now. I'll share some basic information regarding behemoths with you. Some body parts on a behemoth can be destroyed. Okay. Destroy a body part will lock the behemoth down and grant players bonus material. Alright. Now you can lock on. That's good. I'm guessing it'll come for me next. Nope.
<laughs> and I'm stuck. Use True Sight to check how much damage a behemoth has. Activate your True Sight and observe the behemoth's health and body status. Darker colors show damage is more severe. I guess that must be this. So we come back here. Well, pretty nice combat, I have to say. Didn't manage to get a body part, unfortunately. But Collecting and utilizing wild souls to fight behemoths, that is our duty. We rangers can forge stronger equipment with the materials collected from behemoths. Absorbing the wild souls inside behemoths will grant us immense power. Go, this belongs to you. That was pretty fun. Hmm. Got a lot of various miscellaneous stuff here. <laughs> I could probably do better. Oh well. Alright, well depending on what's going on, I'm going to try to do one more battle for you guys and then... Probably call it for this video. Once again, guys, remember, if you're interested in this game, there is a link in the description to the Facebook page along with the pre-registration link. And let's get going. This seems cool. This actually seems like I probably played a bit. See how good I could get. Well, thank you. That's kind of a compliment. Is waiting for you at the headquarters. Head to Oathkeep and become a true ranger. Oathkeep? Oathkeep lies within the kingdom of Avalon. It's a lot more bustling than here. I'll take you there, so you won't get lost. Let's find you a horse first. The Valley of Dawn is vast. Walking there would take too long. Hey, find a horse. Okay. May your hunts be plentiful. Did you know, long ago, the rangers used to gallop into battle? But the behemoths scared the horses into a panic. It was too dangerous to bring them outside the walls. However, in a place like the Valley of Dawn, riding is much preferred to walking. Mount your horse and follow me. Don't fall behind. I gotta give major kudos to this voice actress. She's pretty good. Call the horse. Let's go. <laughs> like this auto follow when it gets too close and just stops. Gonna race you. What are we looking for? The hull of something? Oath keep. Okay. Whoops. Get hung up. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna guess I got away from home girl. Maybe I left her. <laughs> My bad. Just kidding, let's go. We can actually back up. Easy girl, easy. I think there's a way to match speed. Thank you, Epic Waifu. It is very difficult for ordinary citizens to obtain permission to cross the city walls. Where they're born is where they're destined to live out their lives. Only rangers, the capital guard, and a few merchants with special permission can cross these towering city walls. Have you prepared, ranger? You're about to step into a completely different world. It just disappears. When you roll, you become invulnerable for a short time, so mastering the art of rolling will be able to enable you to dodge deadly attacks from behemoths. <laughs> Eda, who is this? <laughs> That's how it is. Recruit, welcome to Oathkeep. You heard rumors about Icarus. Look, this is the Rangers Hall, the headquarters of all Rangers. Hurry on inside. Don't keep Grandmaster Douglas waiting. Are you going with me, Elder? She's next to the request board near the big gates. Trust me on this. Request mission rewards are extremely important for us impoverished rangers. Uh, looks like my Wi-Fi is crashing. The greatest behemoth of all, lag. Well, I guess we get to test what happens if uh, you lag out here. <laughs> well then, let me check real quick, see how the Wi-Fi, yeah, it looks like it's okay. Look, this is the Rangers Hall, the headquarters of all Rangers. Hurry on inside. Don't keep Grandmaster Douglas waiting. She's next to the request board near the big gates. Trust me on this. I'll be at the entrance. Come find me once you've become a true Ranger. True Ranger. Yeah, pretty big map here. The king of nobility lives in high heaven. I heard rumors about something else. So apparently there's some side stuff you can do in this game too. There's treasure hunting, there's cooking. Well met, Ranger. So true. Wolfgang. It's a pleasure to meet you. The one at my side is the first ranger, Balin. Perhaps you've heard of his deeds. <laughs> oh, that was uh, the dude in the cinematic. That's not the case. It's true that our efforts granted us temporary peace, but the crisis is far from over. We need young blood such as yourself to join us. For fodder purposes. I know you are filled with questions, but there is a tiny ritual that needs to be done first. Remember, 
Whatever happens next, don't get too alarmed. Aye, aye, Captain. Transported. <laughs> Another new face. Humans. Here to pry on our secrets again? <laughs> Overconfident mortals. Seeker of power. Let us see what choices you will make. Hello, Gabriel. We are the rulers of the world, you puny human. <laughs> Tear. Our power is sought after by mortals, chosen child. There's no cause for fear, chosen one. Step forward and accept our blessings. Tap a monument to choose your initial wild soul. Oh, uh, which one's tear? Oh, let's see who this is. The power of the god. Accept our aid and you'll forever walk in the light and protect justice in this world. So these guys kind of become paladin -y type people. No, thank you. And the lady paladins are pretty cool. Existence of all things. So this is like your healer. Okay, what are you? Absolute order. The purity of the flame. Mystic cure, void zone, time freeze. Hmm. Seems like it'd be kind of fun. Deploy an invisible field. <laughs> Alright, I'm leaning towards that, but I'm kind of looking for big deeps. The maiden of Discord Pandara. So is this like the rogue lady? Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Alright, what about you? Here's Tear. Titan Cure. I guess everyone gets his 25% thing. Makes sense. Grants attack a leech effect that increases leech by 20% for 10 seconds. That sounds good. Increase the damage of all attacks on controlled, paralyzed, stunned, knocked down behemoths by 30% for 15 seconds. Yo! That's my boy right there. Ever since I played Neverwinter, we're all fans of tear, baby. See how much more time I got. Open the main menu. Wild Soul. Deploy. What just During happened? During the ritual, a bridge was formed between you and the wild soul. You were approved by the wild soul and can use it in battle. You are now a true ranger. Those voices, who are they? They are a powerful life force from ancient times. The former rulers of this land, if you will. Some people call them gods. As time <laughs> flowed on, the so-called gods disappeared. All what remains is but shards of their souls. Like those are the wild souls. I know it's not actually happening, but it kind of looks like he's stabbing himself. 
Even though he's just holding his sword. <laughs> Behemoths devour humans and wild souls. And the rangers from that angle. From oh, never mind, that's a stuff. Or a crutch. Remember, what truly matters is your contribution to mankind. Wild souls are but one of the weapons at your disposal. How do I use the wild soul? <laughs> I pronounce us man and wife. I hereby declare you a member of the Rangers. You passed the trials and ordeals and have now become a Ranger. Henceforth, may your hunts be plentiful. Depart to the Eastern Garrison and fulfill your duty as a Ranger. Responsibility and power what are is, both sides of the same. What is learn runes? Spin through the air. Oh, that's twin blades. Yeah, that's cool. It actually shows you what it does, though. But I don't use twin blades, so I guess I would have to find the dude for great swords. Uh oh, we got a treasure chest. Let's check that out. Yo. Oops. I totally change spots. So I guess this hunter thing must be a currency. I wonder if it is the premium. No, I can't. It's probably not the premium. It's probably that purple jewel. Well, I guess it's just the basic currency then. Hmm, I wonder what I'm supposed to do with those. I don't know. As per a precarious land we traverse an illusionary world, our walled, walled paradise, behemoths shall not ravage our homeland, for we are the embankment to hold on to the tide. And this is my vow. If the iron pen shall ever fall, be I the shield to humankind. If our sword shall ever break, be my spirit the blade of the, my enemy's bane. I fight not for fame or fortune, but for freedom and survival. I sever all entanglements and dedicate. And I'm sure there's more, but I can't get to it. <laughs> Alright, well. Let's go to our next thing. Companions are unlocking next. Yeah, apparently so in this game. You can go and hunt with your friends if you want, but then you can also hire, like, you know, NPCs, basically, to go out with you. So if you just feel like doing things solo. You did it! I knew you could handle it! Dang, dude, jumping in that dress is no easy feat. That takes some agility. It seems we've gotten a new page boy to order about. Sophia, how about you have him run a few errands? But I'm a lady. Congratulations. Seeing you becoming a ranger so quickly makes me proud. You're my protege, after all. In theory, we should head back to the Valley of Dawn post-haste so that you can fulfill your ranger responsibilities. But this is your first time in the Kingdom of Avalon, isn't it? Then I'll make an exception and approve your vacation. Go sightseeing in the city and then report to the Valley of Dawn. Remember not to take too long. <laughs> Vacation. There are many small stores and watering holes near Oath Keep. Go ahead and take a look. Perhaps you'll find something you need or a present for a friend. Sophia, now that you mention it, we haven't been to Rosewell Tavern for the innkeeper of Selena's Apple Jam in a long time. Selena's Apple Jam? Sounds like code to me. Giving your companions gifts will deepen your friendship. When you have developed a friendship, they will reward you in various ways. Some of them will even become your hunting companions. Ew. Well, I guess we're going to get this damn jam. <laughs> we haven't been to the tavern for a long time. The tavern's like right across the street. <laughs> nice. Hi, hello, are you Selena? 
When you reach down, the innkeeper sets down a mug and pours a brown liquid into it. I didn't order that. This drink is on the house. The first drink for a ranger is always free here. Well, sign me up, baby. God damn. Do lots of rangers come here? Of course, here? the food you rangers eat is both expensive and unsavory. It's miles worse than the drinks and delicacies I serve here. Drink your mead first. Otherwise, the foam will be all gone. Just think of it as part of the ritual of you rangers. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm not a fan of alcohol. Screw that. You drink one the mug in one gulp. It's high quality brown. I ale. like your straightforwardness. Remember to remind me to give you a discount next time you visit. Do you want something else? A jar of apple jam? How did you know I was gonna buy apple jam? My tavern is a place where stories circulate. Being the innkeeper, I've heard tell about you, Ranger. And who knows? Perhaps I'll be hearing a lot more in the future. Perhaps you will. Well, I got my apple jam, so I'm gonna split now. But you make sure you call me later on, KK. In order to affirm his role, the king forbade rangers from entering Ashwall Alley, and citizens are required to have an entrance permit to enter Oath Keep. There's no one to be seen near the request board. Where can Sophia and Edith have gone to? Hey, shouldn't you be heading back to the Valley of Dawn with Edith? Nah, I drank a beer and now I'm getting some apple jam. She gave me a short haul. Then weren't you sent by Edith to buy apple jam? So that's why I saw her dragging Sophia and hurry scurrying toward the street corner. Uh, there's no need to be surprised. It's not the first time she's done this. She demands bribes from every new recruit assigned to her. It's always Apple Jam. It's called doing business. Has Edith hunted many behemoths? Among the young generation of rangers, she's the one with the most hunting success. She doesn't fall short even if you compare her to the eminent ranger heroes of past times. Please tell me more about the rangers. The kingdom's ruler trembled in fear and began building a massive wall to hide behind. Whence he could pray for the behemoths to leave on their own. That time, us rangers decided to fight tooth and nail. Our martyrs piled up. Their sacrifice furthered our understanding of the behemoths. They realized the behemoth's power came from within them. One after another, heroes arose to challenge the wild souls. The man Sigrid. Looking back. Mr. Douglas speaks the truth. You need to search for the significance of being a ranger in the battles to come. Make the rangers greater, recruit. I think it's time for you to get a move on and head to the Valley of Dawn. Godspeed, and may your hunts be plentiful. See you later, Balin. I wonder if I'm getting any type of, like, uh, skill points or anything. I guess eventually, but not... Maybe it's just not out in this version yet. Alright, let's keep going. It seems like there's a decent amount of stuff to explore in this game. Find out some hidden things. You come stumbling back here at last. Fortunately, you didn't delay anything important. Do you have anything for me, Elder? I'll introduce you to an important person. 
He's bound to be an important tutor for you in your future career as a ranger. Oh, up here comes the animal, the animal companion. Hatchet. You want to hand the troublesome recruit over to me? You sly little girl. <laughs> wow, this dog talks. Don't fuss about. You've seen enormous behemoths and fantastic wild souls, but you can't handle a speaking animal? Well, let me introduce you. This is Hatchet. Icarus, the rangers had researchers sent him to help us. I'm Icarus's associate, and not a pet. I teach your newcomers how to use wild souls, and you help me hunt behemoths for materials. Understand? Can the little doggy use wild dog souls? This, dog that. Ugh, I hate the word dog. Don't underestimate Hatchet. Apart from Mr. Douglas and Icarus, he understands wild souls the best. Then I'll leave the recruit in your hands. Be sure to teach this young recruit well. As a ranger, you must learn how to use wild souls to find tracks, collect clues, and find objects. Do you understand the power of the wild souls? Listen here. The power of wild souls is much greater than you believe. There are secrets hidden in the wild souls and in the world that you cannot even begin to imagine. It's not something you can fathom at the moment. If you're not ready to understand these secrets, you'd be likely to lose your wits if you knew the truth. You should be worrying about battling the behemoths. Hold on. There's a group of soldiers over there. Did something happen? Let's head over and check. Off we go. You're that ranger recruit, aren't you? I wish to serve you, your excellent one. I salute you. See you. If only Miss Edith were half as polite as you. Ragnar, you can't just come and ask me for help whenever you have a problem and expect me to solve it without a fuss. Tell me, what's it this time? A behemoth or a bunch of orcs? Well, I want to see orcs. Actually, he's my captain. Uh, former. Captain. Captain Hendrick. He fled to avoid punishment. Captain Hendrick. I remember him. An honest man, a few words. And he fled for fear of punishment? What the behemoth is going on? Not long ago, Captain Hendrick was dispatched to a supply station outside the city walls to act as the garrison captain. It's a position especially suited for cautious people. But a few days back, the supply station was attacked by a behemoth, and Hendrik wasn't at his post. I can't believe it. What's surprising still is that when I went to take the old captain into custody, he'd already escaped. I worked under Hendrik for six years. During this time, he saved my life two times. If anyone would have dared tell me <laughs> that Hendrik would desert his post and flee, I would have cut their tongue off. But now, to be honest, I'm conflicted. Are you certain Captain Hendrick is in the wilderness? We found his wife and their newborn child in their home. She pleaded with us to save Hendrick, telling us he went out of his mind and began running toward the Gate of Spring. We came here post haste, and were lucky to catch wind of Captain Hendrick's back as he exited the big gates leading to the behemoth wilderness. Let me guess. You were all scared out of your wits and have been standing here doing nothing. You can't blame us for this. The Allied forces of Dawn aren't rangers. We don't have the godly powers required to hunt behemoths. Besides, it's hard to tell who's the more frightening one. An enraged behemoth or Captain Hendrick when he's angry. We can only rely on you and Miss Edith. We'll owe you one. Woof! What unexpected luck! We didn't even have to locate the bugger ourselves! Let's find Captain Hendrick and deal with the behemoth on the way for some extra material. Woof woof! That really is killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> Let's head out at once. Woo! Alright. Off we go then. Alright, so this will be the last mission in this video, guys. But I'm hoping you're enjoying the video. Once again, I did want to say... 
check the title info, there's going to be a link to the pre-registration for this game, as along with the, uh, the Facebook fan page. I smell humans. Let's go. Yeah. I'm not supposed to go over there, but I want to kill all these things. Well, if I was a completionist, I would do that. But... Hey, we're looking for clues. These two so these footprints might have been left by Captain Hendrick. Let's give chase. Ta -da. The farms in the Valley of the Dawn provide citizens and nobility with something or other. There he is. Get out of the way, otherwise I'll get angry. Captain, do you still remember me? I am Edith Elise of the Rangers. We've met before. I know who you are. Don't come any closer. Not a single step. Calm down, Captain. We're here to help you. No one can help me. Only myself. The behemoth is mine. I'll deal with it myself. Lower your weapon, Captain. We mean you no harm. We're just here to help. Lord of Light, I shouldn't have. It's all too late. It was just to catch a glimpse of him, and everything is ruined. We heard that you left the supply station when the behemoth attacked at the time your wife gave birth, is that right? That's right. It was three days after Moria had given birth to my son. There weren't enough men at the station, so I could take a break and go see them. I held fast for three days. Finally, I rose before dawn and snuck away from my station while everyone was still asleep. I snuck away to see my wife. I just wanted to catch a glimpse of them, give my child a kiss on the forehead, then return. But as soon as I left, a behemoth destroyed it all. Does this warrant a death sentence, Captain? There is no forgiving me, I know that, but I don't want to die for Moira and my son. I have to only seen him once, that is far from enough. He never even woke up and saw me. He's never seen his father. I want to watch him grow old and teach him things and do things with him. I can't die. We must fight together if you want to live. Marduka is right. If you want to stay alive and return to see your wife and son, then you must let us help. Listen to me, Captain. We promise that all the glory of this battle will be yours. We will tell everyone that you slew it on your own. During my entire life, I have never once bent the knee to someone and begged for mercy, not even once. If I survive, the rest of my life belongs to you, Moira, my child, who still does not have a name. Oh, so this is probably one of your first companions. Or possible companions. Uh, okay. <laughs> Lock Behemoth as your target. Oh, we got another one. Alright, bros. Blues Riff and B. Watch for the changes and try to keep up, okay? So you want to roll on me, eh? Ah. Uh. Yeah, okay. Sure, let's do that. I guess that must mean I'm life stealing. Yep, that's great. Should I should have used that when it was down. Oh well. Time. I don't know if this is working. Are you not happy now? Oh, there we go. 
Dang it, he rolled on me. <laughs> I wonder what the refresh on that is. Trying to cut his tail off. Get close to the behemoth and absorb his anima. Oh, I guess we killed him already. I have to figure out that mechanic more. Oh, maybe we did cut off his tail. I saw there's different types of XP. There's one for the weapon, one for you, and one for specialization. That's cool. Alright guys, so that'll probably do it for this video. Once again, I wanted to thank Yuzu Games for giving me this opportunity to showcase their game. If you enjoyed the game, guys, check the title info. Remember, there's a link to the Facebook page there, along with a pre-registration link. Get yourself some goodies. And go ahead, if you felt like it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this. You excited for this game? What you're thinking? And I will catch you guys in the next video. So, I guess I'll let this cinematic finish. <laughs> Will they execute my boy? You'll have to find out for yourself, man. Take care. <laughs>